Dear colleagues, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is an intermittent cataract after making the main incision. This is a side port on the right side of the main incision and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision. The side ports are about 3 clock hours away from the main incision. An air bubble is injected to fill off the anterior chamber. Beneath this air bubble, tripan blue dye is applied in such a way that the dye touches all parts of the anterior capsule. And now, this is a bit of adrenaline and then the dye is washed out with a Simco cannula using BSS. If we wash the dye out, the concentration of the dye is uniform all around and visibility is good. Now I go to the higher magnification. This is uh, Topcon's basic microscope OMS 90. I go through the side port and make a small C flap on the anterior capsule at the center. And now I go with the uterita forceps, hold this capsular tag and try to convert it into a small excess. But here it tends to go to periphery. But since I have attempted a small excess, I can control it and I can do a small rexus. Now I use a Simco cannula and remove some cortical lens matter. I rotate the nucleus and in this way the cortical matter from all around is removed. So the intralenticular pressure is drastically reduced. I fill up the anterior chamber now with visco, take a vana scissor, make a small nick at around 9 o'clock obliquely and then use the uterata forceps to go anticlockwise and here I have to go to periphery. Otherwise, I cannot do the optimum size stresses. Let us see this in slow motion. This is 50 percent speed. From 5 o'clock, gradually go to periphery and gradually complete the small rexus. And now I fill up the anterior chamber again. Hydro is not required, it has already been done. And now is the time to enter into the anterior chamber with the FECO needle. The machine being used is Oatly Cataracts 3. I go bevel down, go into the substance of the nucleus and make this job. Why bevel down? Because with bevel down, I can hold the nuclear mass very firmly. With bevel up, I cannot because this is a free floating nucleus. So, whenever the nucleus is free floating, if the bevel is down, we can, it goes directly into the substance of the nucleus and we can hold the nuclear mass very firmly. But we have to judge how deep to go. This is the hemineucleus. It has been divided into two halves and now it is being emulsified. The pieces are being emulsified. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is 65 percent. Fluoride is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. During emulsification of the last piece, the parameters are reduced to 350, 35 and 60. Uh, now is the time to 
aspirate the cortical lens matter. I am using a 23G Simco cannula. At this time, I have used visco so that the anterior chamber remains formed when I go through the main port. And now I go through the side port and remove the subincisional cortex. The side ports are 3 clock hours away from the main incision and astigmatism produced by the main incision is neutralized to some extent by the side ports. This is hydroimplantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens. The leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and just by a tap with the left hand instrument, the trailing haptic also goes into the capsular bag. We can see that the optic of the intraocular lens is nicely overlapped all around by the rexis. So, the rexis is ideal. The side port on the left side is closed. The right side port has been used only once. We uh, need not do this side port. We can make a nick on the center of the anterior capsule with the 26 case bayonet needle bar through the main port itself. The antechamber is nicely formed, integrity of all the wounds are checked. There should not be any leakage from any side and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical skills.